everyone, this is Stacy from Stacy Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be um, a new planner setup video. Um, this is going to be my work planner starting in July. I was previously using the monthly year in blooms planner that I bought, um, I think, last year from Joann's. It's the monthly planner with the floral cover, and I have a flip through of it on my channel. Um, and while that was working great for me, I discovered this beautiful Garden Blooms planner when the March release came out, and I just had to have it. Um, I love it so much. I love the black and white. Mint is my favorite color, so I had to have these discs. And this planner is an hourly layout, which I don't, I don't care for for my catch-all planner, but I have used the Goal Getter hourly from last year for work, and it actually worked out really well because I'm... I work in HR and I do have a lot of meetings and things like that so tracking hourly works well for me so yeah I'm gonna be setting up this planner um, on camera today I hope you enjoy it um, I did pull the inserts that I was using from like I said the year in blooms planner just to keep at the beginning for reference in case I need to look back on anything from the past couple months so I'm just gonna first actually I'm gonna take off these mint discs from the work planner because I'm gonna actually put these on my catch all and my setup for that planner which will be coming soon and I'm gonna switch them to these white discs because I also really love white so yeah here we go and if you've never switched the discs on a happy planner before it's super super easy and I think it's a lot of fun. And if this part gets too long with me transfer everything over, um, I'll just speed it up so you guys don't have to sit here and watch the whole thing. But basically what um, everyone in the planner community does first, which I think makes the world of a difference with changing the discs in an easy way, is to start with the covers. It's just like super easy to get the stability that way. I feel like the white discs are just going to look super pretty. So we've got the covers on. So now I'm going to start adding the inserts. And I'm going to see how chunky it gets. Um, because this is an 18 month planner that goes through December of next year. I don't think I'm going to need it all in here at once. So I'm most likely just going to put in July through December of this year. But we'll see what happens. And the easiest way to do it if you've never done it is to go one month at a time. And it's the perfect amount of paper. Here we go. Now I'm taking August. These dividers are just gorgeous. When this planner came out, I immediately thought of Heather Kell, which I'm sure you all know because she loves her florals and I'm the exact same way. I think we have the same exact taste when it comes to planners um, because I just, I loved it from the start too. And it's funny because I was thinking about buying this planner, like I said, since March when the release came out. Um, but I couldn't justify it and I just didn't let myself for a while, at least not until it went on a good sale. Because originally I was just going to be buying this planner for the mint discs in the cover. And I know that might sound crazy to some people, but 
it's just that gorgeous. I've been wanting them to come out with mint discs forever. And for my knowledge, you can't buy them individually yet. So I just had to get this planner to get my hands on those discs. And I know that the, the Daydreamer planner that came out from the Happy Planner Girl line, um, that one had metal mint discs. But I really, and those are really pretty. But I'm personally still a fan of the plastic discs just because I like the more matte look than versus like the shine. And that's probably an unpopular opinion. But yeah, that's just how I feel. Um, so like I said, um, and the person who actually <laughs> really drove me to just pick up the planner is, um, her name is Sweet Dreams and Plans on Instagram. You might be familiar with her. She posts amazing spreads and I absolutely love her feed. Um, she posted in her Instagram story that she went out and actually bought this planner just for the mint discs. And I was just like, oh my gosh, like... I'm not alone. Someone else is like me in that way. It's super funny. And I um, messaged her on Instagram telling her I had the same thought, which is really funny. Alright, so I put July through December of this year in here. Let's see how chunky it is. Yeah, there's still a lot more room. So before I add any of next year's inserts um i'm probably gonna just add the other things that i wanted to put in first and then go from there just to see what happens but these mint discs i mean not mint these white discs are just looking gorgeous already i just like i just think they go with the planner super super well all right so what I'm going to do is, so I'm going to start taking this planner to work on Monday. I brought it home over the weekend to um, update. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in, like I said, um, the inserts that I was using from the Year in Blooms, I believe it was called. Um, the monthly layout. So I'm going to add these in in the beginning before the planner even starts. Um, because, you know, like I said, I was using the other planner first. I actually have a lot of blank sheets I didn't use because um, I was using this planner with the daily note sheet for note taking and it was working super well um, for all the calls I had to make and things like that and then I actually just felt like changing it up and switching to something different um, so I started using the vertical lined layout and that was for my empowered woman planner that I also flipped through on my channel from last year that came out um, and that was a gorgeous planner too, and the vertical line did work for me, but I don't know, something about it, I just wasn't feeling, I think it's because I'm not a vertical planner anymore, um, there's just something about it that I, that just, just didn't work for me, so here's March in my planner, and I didn't even, I don't really use this part of the monthly, but it's nice because this planner is, except for the monthly, it comes undated basically, so you don't have to feel bad about not using all the inserts up in, the, in a year like with the other planners. Um, so yeah, I have a lot of these blank. Like I said, they're not dated, so I can use these whenever I want. And there's some notes I had. So now I'm going to add in April. And this planner is gorgeous. I really like this planner a lot. And I'm actually going to try incorporating some of the inserts into my catch-all planner um to use kind of like for monthly goals so I'm still using the planner so I do use the monthly a lot for work as well just to keep track of my hours and things like that and I love that this planner had blank note paper I think that was great but yeah it's just such a gorgeous gorgeous planner here's May it's so pretty So again, I wrote all my hours in here. And I'm just adding these in a little bit at a time. As you can see here are my to-do lists. And then this is where I switched to the vertical line, like I said, which worked great. I could just make a long to-do list for the whole day and just cross everything off as I went down the list, so it, it worked really well. 
Um, and then I actually, because I just can't commit to a layout, apparently, um, because I wanted to test out a million layouts for work, I started using the dashboard. So I took a week from Supermom, and I started tracking like my work schedule here and things like that, calls, and then my daily to-dos. Um, that also worked out really well. And yeah, this planner is, whatever, everything I'm adding in, it's probably not cohesive and it's not perfect for the weeks because I just pulled out like random inserts um, that I was using. So sorry if it's not very cohesive. And then like I said, I took for June for this month, I took this divider out of the Super Mom Planner. And I'm not a mom, but I bought the planner, you know, to try out the dashboard layout because at the time that was the only way to try it out. And I really wanted to see how it would work. So here's my June monthly for my work planner. And as you can see, this planner is very functional for me. Um, I've seen people like take their planner home on the weekends and decorate it. I think that's amazing, but for my job, it's just not practical, honestly. Um, I keep this one. This is just paper and pen. So here are the weeks that... I've just finished and then I have the, I have the rest of June set up with the dashboard layout and I took these pages actually from the um, undated expansion pack I think it was called for the dashboard layout so it's undated so I just kind of dated it myself and I like it because it's a little bit more generic like it doesn't say anything mom related here and then I have some extra count sheets just in case I need them all right so that's for the rest of the month before, like I said, the planner starts in July. So, I'm trying to decide. I think maybe I'll put this little dashboard marker here just to separate the two planners. And then, I don't always need note paper, but I'm just going to throw, I have, a, um, I have a ton of note paper. I don't know why. I, I keep buying note paper happy notes. I have a huge collection, so I'm just going to take some of this paper that came out a while ago. I love the neon pink. It's so fun. I might have to put these in individually. I love this scalloped one, too. And I was thinking if I wanted to add anything else, like sticky notes or anything like that, but... This planner is very, very simple for me, so I don't really need all the extras. Um, yeah, okay, so this is where July will start. And like I said, I have July through December. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Let me see how thick this is. I still have room in here, but I don't really want to put it all of the inserts for next year because I feel like it would just get too heavy to take to and from work. Um, I'm just trying to think. I might actually add, I have this black, the snap-on cover. I really like this. Um, again, purchased this a while ago. I think I'm going to, look at how beautiful the white disc look. Like, it's just gorgeous. I think I'm going to throw it on here. These are a little bit harder to get on. Um, but I've used this quite a bit, so I think it's become a little bit more flexible. So there's the front. I love how the back inside says the Happy Planner. It's so cute. trickier okay so this is what it looks like right now I love I just love black and white I love neutrals um so I think that's everything I'm going to include in my work planner I'm just trying to think if I want to add I might actually add um if I can find it Let's see, a while ago. Let's go. 
So like I said last year for work, I was using the Goal Getter. You might remember this cover. And I put a pen loop on it. So I think I'm just going to stick this back here just so I have an extra pen loop. Let's see. Alright, so again, nice and simple. I like very simple, very neutral for work, so I'm not taking like a crazy colorful planner into meetings and things like that, and that is totally fine if, if that's what you like to do. But for me, I just prefer the more professional look. I just love this hardcover. So I'm just going to take you through the planner really quick again just to show you how it turned out. So here we go. Here's the cover. So gorgeous. And like I said, here's March. And then we have April, May, June. Oh yeah, and I also wanted to add in, Monday the 17th, I just wanted to add in really quickly um, one of these dashboards. I cannot remember which pack this one came in, but it says Hello Beautiful on the bottom. Maybe Socialite? I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, so that'll be for all set for next week. And then... So like I said, this planner will finish. Then we've got the note paper that I added in here, just a few sheets. And then this will begin July. I just have to write my name in there. But yeah, so then I have July through December of 2019 in here. Like I said, I love that there's a note sheet on the back. Here's the cover. And then just added the goal getter, goal getter back, um, front cover for the pen loop here. I did love this planner. And then here's the snap-on cover. So that is my new work planner set up um, for next month for July through the end of the year. Or um, depending on what happens, maybe I will continue using this planner all through next year. Because like I said, the planner does go 18 months. So we'll see what happens, but I hope you guys enjoyed the setup. I'm really excited to um, start using this planner for work. Um, it's just super pretty, and I just want to show you, I forgot to show you um, the layout of the Garden, um, Garden Blooms planner. It's just, I don't know if I mentioned, I'm sorry, it's an hourly. So, like I said, I love the hourly for work. And this planner I love. It just has florals on every page. It's just really, really pretty. It's still neutral, but it has a little touch of something, which is perfect for me because, like I said, I don't decorate my work planner. But it's nice to have a little bit of color in there. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them below. And let me know which planners you'll be using for work in July or which ones you're using right now and are continuing through the rest of the year. Thank you so much again for watching. I really appreciate your support, and have a great day. Bye, everyone.